Solar-powered vehicles may not be seen all that often, if ever, but likely, they will soon become the norm, just like more traditional electric vehicles which are a common sight on today's roads. There have been some fairly valiant attempts at creating solar cars, but nothing quite like this. The one is a car developed by Lightyear, a Dutch company that plans to make solar-powered vehicles affordable and easily available for the average consumer in the next few years. The one has some genuinely interesting features, with some being the ones you may expect on current production models from other manufacturers because of this. The Lightyear One may be the car to set off the trend of solar-powered vehicles. Below are some things we now know about the Lightyear One. Storage the level of practicality on display in the Lightyear One is somewhat surprising and goes to prove that the car isn't just a publicity stunt. This is shown especially in the amount of onboard storage. The Lightyear One has a maximum load capacity of around 1,700 liters with around 780 liters of that coming from the trunk area. This means the car is more than capable of providing enough space for grocery shops and luggage. Range the range is one of the most intriguing factors in the car. After all, a car that uses solar power is so unique, and this means the range is also unlike anything we've ever seen on a traditional car. It's said that the Lightyear One can drive for 450 miles before needing to be charged, and charge times vary depending on the weather conditions. Drivetrain The drivetrain of the car is also intriguing, given the uniqueness of the vehicle. The Lightyear One is driven with four independent motors for each wheel, providing power whenever necessary. This means a good level of traction and energy efficiency should be delivered regardless of the surface. It also means the car can be driven in slightly difficult conditions or even off-road. Performance Although not a performance vehicle by any stretch of the imagination, it still doesn't mean we're not intrigued by how quick the solar-powered car can go. The car has around 134 horsepower, and this means the car is capable of a top speed of around 93 miles per hour. It also means a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of around 10 seconds. Again, not a performance vehicle. However, it's still fairly impressive for a first genuine attempt at a solar-powered vehicle. Just don't expect to be seeing them competing on track anytime soon. Interior as a vehicle built as a sedan, it's important to assume the target audience includes families. This also means a wide selection of tech and infotainment features should be present, as well as exceptional comfort. The Lightyear One seats five, with two in the front and three in the back, much like your traditional sedan. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are present as well as over-the-air software update, wireless mobile phone charging, and even a companion app. Charging Luckily for any of us who have any experience with charging an electric vehicle, the Lightyear One should be a breeze to use as they charge in an almost identical manner. This means charging from a regular outlet or a charging station, just like any other EV. The rate at which the car charges, however, depends on the charging station used as well as the maximum charging capacity of the EV. Styling The styling from the Lightyear is about what you may expect if you had to guess what a solar-powered vehicle may look like. Saying the vehicle looks futuristic may be an understatement. It has very large solar panels, which go from the roof all the way to the front of the hood to allow maximum coverage for sunlight. Elsewhere, the car has somewhat of a boxy frame and looks very much like a concept vehicle. Price and Release The price of the Lightyear One depends on the region, but generally, the car will cost around $177,000 or, more accurately, €150,000. This is because the car will originally only be for sale in select European countries from the beginning. This is because the car is initially only going to be created in left-hand drive. It is due for release in the latter quarter of 2021, and an estimated 946 vehicles are planned for production, making them particularly rare. Development and Future The design using solar panels was created using inspiration from the solar team Eindhoven's solar-powered cars from the World Solar Challenge. Interestingly, the one was heavily designed together with Grand Studio, who is based in Italy, making the Lightyear somewhat of an international effort. Lex Holslut, the CEO and founder of Lightyear, wants solar-powered vehicles to be cheaper and readily available for most people. He also aims to have solar-powered cars mass-produced from 2024.